Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm here at my two cars. I've got the project car and I've got the, uh, so this one I'm actually going to be reselling. Uh, car, my main car. Um, that one I got some videos on how I, uh, it was stolen, recovered stolen vehicle. Uh, and I've been, I've got it mostly ready to sell now. Just a couple little things I've been, <laughs> I've been, I don't know, waiting to, uh, waiting to finish. But anyway, you can see this is ugly, ugly carbon fiber. It's supposed to look awesome carbon fiber. Um, it's supposed to look like awesome carbon fiber. And this side, I don't know why that's, that still looks amazing. Except for the little fuzz. But um, so today I'm just gonna be not refinishing. I'm just gonna be making this look better. Like say, I don't know, you wanna put your car on a show and you don't have the, the money to, uh, or the money or the time really. It's like a short fuse thing. It's like, hey, the show's this weekend and I wanna put the, I wanna put the car on the show. Um, so how can I get my carbon fiber looking great, looking like this, um, without spending a few hundred dollars on getting clear, um, getting it wet sanded and polished, uh, clear, all that stuff. So, I'm Malco Rejuvenator. <laughs> actually, I actually have an old bottle of this still. I had thought I had lost it. I couldn't find it. And then I, thought, I was like, well, if I can't find it, maybe I used it up. So, I bought another bottle right after I bought this one. I found the old one. So, I used this stuff before. So, two months ago, I actually polished it to where it looked... Uh, it looked pretty good, not as shiny as this. It had a, a little bit of a dull finish on it. This has been re um, this has been refinished. Sorry, I didn't mention that. This is refinished carbon fiber. Um, the only reason I know that it was refinished is because I saw pictures of the guy that had it before my friend had it, which when my friend had it, it was that's when it was uh, stolen. Some things were taken from it. I don't know why they didn't take the hood. I would have I would have taken the hood, um, but. Um, before my friend had it, that guy, I saw pictures of it when the carbon fiber looked pretty bad. Uh, so, I mean, it's obviously been refinished. Plus, you can tell, when you pop the hood, you can tell that it's been uh, wet sanded and there's some little residue that's, that's around the underside of the hood. Uh, I'm not going to really lift that up. There's no reason to. Um, but this is what it looks like when carbon fiber, or when the, sorry, not the carbon fiber, when the, the clear coat that's over the, ox the uh, carbon fiber starts to oxidize. Um, there's some videos on not videos by me. I'll hopefully do one one day, but there's videos on re-clearing if you have carbon fiber, like how to re-clear it. But this simple, straightforward video, all I'm going to do is take this and uh, just just polish it back up to where it looks um, it looks like it used to. Now, doing this, um, it's not harmful on it. It's not going to keep you from. Um, being able to refinish it later on, it's just polishing the oxidation off, and uh, probably about between two weeks to a month from now, it'll start oxidizing again, um, and it'll get back to looking like this. Because, like I said, I did this, I did this uh, two months ago, but I just put like a little, a little dime, dime size dab on this. You can see. So I'm just gonna start polishing. And uh, I'll time lapse it. Hopefully, I have my camera just sitting on a stand, so it might shake around a little bit because I'm putting a little bit of force behind this while I'm doing this. But uh, and in addition to the carbon fiber being hot right now because it's been sitting in the sun. It also creates a lot of friction. Which tends to burn your fingers. And you get these little blisters that aren't fun. When are blisters fun anyway? Anyway, so that's before I, I time lapse this whole thing. All I did was uh, just put that little bit of force just now. And as you can see, it's nice and glossy again. So, um, you can polish it a little bit harder, get a little bit shinier. Um, but when you see that, compared to this, it just looks way different, right? Oh, there you go. Reflection of the trees. That works. So you can see the reflection of the trees. 
So it just look, it makes it look amazing, right? Well, more amazing than it did five seconds before I started polishing this. So I'm gonna do this to this whole wing and uh, put this on time lapse. Hopefully, if my camera doesn't shake too much, I don't really have anything to set it on right now. Uh, but this just looks, it looks, just looks really bad, right? So I'm gonna take it from looking really bad to looking really good. Let's set this there. So there's some little spots that I need to go over again, right? Um, but you can tell the difference, like that's what the whole thing looked like before. And now, it's nice and shiny again. So you can do the same thing if you actually wanted to, uh, if you wanted to wet sand it and then polish it, um, it'll be the same effect. It'll probably just be a little bit, uh, a little bit cleaner, uh, cleaner. <laughs> it'll be a little bit cleaner. I made up a word. I think every video I've made up a word so far. It's like a running thing. Um, <laughs> so it would be a little bit cleaner. Um, but if you wanted to uh, actually make it look like this, like, like I said, this was carbon fiber that had gotten oxidized. And then the guy who had it before my friend, he had it, uh, I, I'm guessing the same way that you would refinish any other carbon fiber. Um, he had it. Uh, wet sanded and then after it was wet sanded it was I mean look you can see my reflection this is you know this is really this is really shiny it looks almost new you can tell it's old because there's some little spots like there's a nick right there I gotta clean it that's nothing with the uh that is just yeah it's been storming pretty bad the last couple of days so I'm glad I can actually get out here and and uh make a video but yeah and that's old wax but yeah, as you can see, it's really shiny. It's not a, uh, it's not that. There's a little bit of a yellow tint to it, but it's not that yellow at all. So it might be the clear that they used. Some guys I've I've, see, I've heard them use like some like a polyurethane instead. There's videos about this. Uh, you can go and check out the videos if you want to look into refinishing your own carbon fiber. But some of the ones that I've seen that were done is like home jobs. The guy that the guys that video themselves doing home jobs, it didn't actually come out that great. So do something like this. Um, and and actually, from what I've seen comparing this to the uh, the videos of where they did the home jobs um, this actually looks a lot better than the home job so if you want to do this um, this is like twenty dollars for this rejuvenator right here um, this is about the same this is the same type of stuff it's just harder to polish with this this is more made for if you wanted to use a, a buffer which you can use a buffer with this too and it'll probably make it look a lot better than this it doesn't mean that it won't oxidize it'll still end up oxidizing um, so about every month or so depending on where what the weather is that you live in um you will like this is hawaii so i, I figure it kind of accelerates everything um just because we have harsher sun rays harsher uv rays um but you probably have to do it about every one to two months so like i i feel like i would have to do it about every one month but this looks a lot better i'm going to finish this up um after i, I shut off the camera mm. So other things you've used it for, I've used this stuff for, it was like polishing like black plastic. Like plastic that's like this, that's already has like a smooth finish to it. You can polish it out to where it's shiny. Um, plastic that has a rough finish to it, if you want to make it look shiny, you can take high grit sandpaper um, or work your way up to high grit sandpaper. What I mean by that is like, um, like around a 2,000, 2,500 grit sandpaper. So you work your way up to that, smoothing it out. And then after you get it nice and smooth, you take the polish to it, you polish it up. Um, and it looks nice. Um, I've used it on clear plastic before, uh, like acrylic plastic, gauge faces, things like that that were scratched, that have a deep scratch in it. You can actually take the high grit sandpaper and keep sanding until the scratch is gone and then the clear plastic is a nice foggy uh, texture and then you can take this, you can take this stuff and um, polish it out again and get it nice and clear again. Uh, so that's that's really nice. I've used it on paint before. Um, if you have paint that's actually oxidizing, you can get the oxidation out of paint. Again, that oxidation, same thing here. It'll come right back. Um, 
I've used it on all sorts of all sorts of things. You can use it on a ton of things just to, to get that original shine back. But uh start to oxidize again. So to get rid of that oxidation you would actually have to uh, have it re-cleared and then just take care of your paint so that it doesn't oxidize. Anyway, this is really hot. I feel like I'm sweating a ton. But anyway, so I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to shut off the camera and I'm going to finish uh, polishing up this last little bit so that this looks as amazing as the rest of this stuff. But anyway, thanks for watching though. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Um, let me know if there's any ideas or videos that you want me to do. Um, I'll keep them in mind. I'll do those videos if, if I feel I can do it, if I have the stuff to do it. Um, yeah, but uh, thanks for watching and God bless.